I'm sharing a new journal with me today and today's journal page is a little bit of a nostalgic page. I recently got some pictures printed at the print shop and I just printed them on like copy paper. So like just regular document prints. I just put the photos onto a page, I scanned them in and I picked some of my favorite ones that I wanted to journal about. So I talk about this a lot on my channel too that you can always go back and you can always journal old memories and old mementos and keepsakes that you have. So you can always go back in time. It doesn't matter how far. And you can reflect on things that have happened in your life at any time. So give yourself permission to do that. And that's what I'm doing today. So these are actually some childhood photos. And there's some photos of my siblings and my cousins together. The cousins in this photo are from Queensland and we're from New South Wales. So we didn't see each other a whole lot growing up. But the times that we did see each other, I have such strong memories of those times. And I wanted to reflect on some of these moments. And I've got some really nice photos from a snow trip where I have some really vivid childhood memories and also some other nice photos there. From swimming at the lake, I'm using this old piece of clear, it's like, it's from an old photo album that I got at the thrift store. It's like supposed to be a cling photo album. So you just slip your photos in and then that clear sheet sits over the top of your photos and holds them in place. These pieces of clear plastic are not attached to the album. They're just kind of sitting over the top of the pages, which are very old and worn and I'm repurposing them and I'm using that clear that clear material as like a clear page in my journal as you see here. So I trimmed it down to fit inside the journal. I used some wide washi tape to attach it in the journal as you saw and now I'm just using those photos and I'm putting them back to back inside that clear material so we're creating kind of like a transparent page here. And to hold them in place, I needed to add a couple of staples because it wasn't very clingy. It didn't hold those photos strongly in there. So I added some staples on each of those. Here are some new digitals I have in my shop. They are cabinet card printables and there's a ton of different like versions of each um, cabinet card. So you can use these as frames in your journals just to help decorate your photos and make them stand out. So I went ahead and I cut them all out. It took me ages to cut them out, but I love how they turned out. And you'll see me here trying to pick between which cabinet card or photo frame I wanted to use on the page. I ended up using two of them. I use this pretty floral one on the right side. And then I use one of the small souvenir envelope frames for one of my smaller photos. I've just had a little sale in my Etsy shop for digitals. And I think I'm gonna extend that for maybe the rest of this month. So if you're seeing this video and you wanna check out some of the journaling printables I have in my shop, including these cabinet cards or photo frames, I'll link them down below. So the photos on the right side of the spread are again, my siblings and my cousin. And then the little photo that I'm going to put into this little photo pocket cabinet card is a picture of my sister and I when we were little. This is the sister that lives in New Zealand. She's recently had a baby and so I'm just doing like some reflective journaling about living so far away from each other. Our family is really close. We talk every single day. We have like a group chat where we talk every single day which is nice and it makes it not so hard to live so far away. So you can basically just slip a little photo inside that pocket and then you can take it in and out and it doesn't have to be permanent. I really like how that looks. And then I stapled that floral frame over the top on the right side and I really like how it frames the picture. And I like how it sits on top of that clear material so you can actually lift it up and it doesn't permanently cover any of the photo. And later on in this video, when I add stickers on top of this, it's the same idea. The stickers aren't directly on the actual photos themselves. So you can actually just lift up that clear material and you can reveal the original photo, which I think is a really nice, a really nice little aspect of the page. I have this old vintage envelope with some nice little wear and tear aging marks on it. I love the way that paper ages. So I wanted to include that big envelope on the page for some journaling. And then I also decided to include another photo of my granddad. So this is our granddad. Quite a few years ago, I decided to attach this behind the clear page. And I feel like it goes with the journaling really well because when I'm doing my written journaling, I'm writing about a little miniature snowman we made. We made on the snow trip where you see the photos of us at the snow. 
there wasn't a whole lot of snow and we decided to make a snowman and we made a very very tiny like a little miniature snowman with what was left of the snow at the time and we called it granddad so there's a picture of granddad and then i'm also going to include a picture of our little miniature snowman I stapled this little playing card on the page two of like a little house and that for me is representing the snow lodge that we stayed in so again it's just kind of illustrating the story that i'm telling and the memory that i am talking about in my journaling i am just adding like all my bits and pieces to the page before i go in and i write so i've got this little vintage label that you just peel and stick and i'm sticking that below the picture of granddad and then i kind of just flick back and forth between the pages trying to decide if it needs anything else i'm trying to keep my journaling pretty simple I'm trying to incorporate more writing and less like bulkiness because this journal's already becoming really, really bulky. I'd say I'm about halfway through. Here's the picture of our little tiny snowman. We were so proud of him. And yeah, just really strong memories from when we were really young that are really nice to journal about and look back on. It's nice to have photos of things that you remember and you don't necessarily remember that you have photos of them when you go back and find them. It's so, it's so vivid and the memory really matches the images that go along with that, which is really cool. I'm using this awesome sticker book to write Grandad underneath the picture of Grandad. It's just such a cute picture of him smiling. And then I'm tucking that photo loose behind the playing card on the page. Then on the first page, I just wanted to fill in that little space there, that little blank space underneath the little souvenir pocket. So I'm using a scrap of old ledger paper and I'm just gluing that down with my glue stick and then I can write directly on top of that. I ended up stapling the picture of my sister and I in the corner of the page so you can kind of flip it over and you can, you could probably pull out the picture unless I've stapled it down, but I didn't want to kind of glue where the pocket does up, if that makes sense. So I wanted to leave it kind of open on the back. Then I decided to also back the photo of us with the little snowman. So this one, I didn't print it off as works. I actually printed it at home on my Canon selfie. So the photo paper is quite a lot thicker and it has a different finish to the other photos that I've included on the page. So it looks a little bit more shiny and a little bit more thick. And then on the back of the photo, it says Canon. So I wanted to cover that up and I just used a scrap of lined paper to do that. I also used some decorative scissors along the bottom edge of that photo just to add like a nice little bit of texture. And then when I backed it to that scrap of paper, I just left a little border around it, which helps it kind of pop off the page. Then I put out this old lined card and I'm going to use this to do some more written journaling. I just had to trim it down so that it's going to fit inside that old envelope. So I just trimmed it down with my scissors. It fit really, really well inside the pocket after that. And then that just gives me extra room to actually do some written journaling. So here you see me flicking through the journal and adding in my written journaling. As always, I'm using my favorite pen, which is the Pentel Energel ink pens. I really like those pens just because they're so smooth to write with. My writing can be really inconsistent and it can also be really messy. And I find that these Pentel Energel pens on most paper feel really lovely and smooth and they make my handwriting look heaps better than other pens that I've used. So that's why I like those, they're like oh, my old trusty pens that I've used for a few years now. If you wanna try a nice smooth pen, highly recommend those Pentel and a gel pens. So I'm journaling on all the little blank spaces that I left on the page. I'm also journaling on the back of like loose photos and on the label. And I'm basically just writing about the memories that I have, any little details that I remember, 
things about the people that I'm journaling about, things that happened, and just filling in the space. And again, my handwriting is really messy. And even sometimes even when I try really hard to make it neat, it just comes out messy. And that's just something that I've had to learn to embrace over the years and just embrace the fact that sometimes my writing is messy. But I think I just like to remind myself that whenever I look at other people's handwriting and they consider it to be messy, I always find it so interesting to look at. And I think it adds such a nice personal touch handwriting. So even if you don't like your own handwriting or if you feel like something doesn't look neat, it's probably still really special to the people who know you and love you. So I encourage you to also do some handwriting, even if you're not confident. Last of all, I'm adding some stickers to decorate the page and I'm just sticking these all around kind of to enhance the page. I don't want to saturate the page or take over the page with stickers, but I just want to enhance all the little focal points on the page with stickers. And so I'm using little tiny word stickers and label stickers and little tiny hearts and bows and stars and things like that that just look really pretty and add a little bit of extra interest to the page. And here is a look at the finished spread. So again, this is a page that I wanted to keep pretty simple and that's kind of what I'm going for in my journal at the moment. I'm trying to make sure I include lots of writing. I'm trying to do a bit of painting and art here and there as well. I'm obviously still including my photos and it's still very scrapbook feeling, but I'm just trying to make sure that I'm incorporating more journaling stuff. So more writing and stuff like that. And I think that this page turned out really nice and it just feels really nostalgic. I really love using old photos and just reflecting on past moments. As I said, you can do this whenever you want. You don't have to have a special event or a special reason to journal about old memories. You can just literally look back on old photos and if there's something that you want to say about it, you can put it in your journal and you can write about it. And yeah, I think it's really special to do that. I really hope you guys enjoyed this journal with me. I had so much fun making this page and I'm really loving using this current journal that I'm in right now. If you did enjoy this journal with me, please pop a thumbs up on this video. It helps my channel so much. And it also lets me know that you want to see more videos like this, which is really, really helpful. But I hope you're all doing really well. And thank you so much for watching to the end of this video. And I will see you again soon in my next video.